Hello friends, this is Mike with GP Transco. We are located in Joliet, Illinois. And I'm going to show you this truck for sale. This is 2019 Freightliner Cascadia with 448,000 miles. The truck number is 19224. So if you are uh, calling me and you are interested in this truck, please ask about truck number 19224 or just give me the mileage. Uh, the truck has uh, automatic DT12 transmission and DD15 engine. I'll show you all the details, the horsepower and everything later. Also you can see the specs of the truck in the description of the video. So we're gonna show you everything about the truck, all the bad things and the good things. So this way we can save a lot of time uh, to each other. So right now I'll show you the front of the truck. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, uh, if you want to call me or text me, my cell phone number is 708-983-5822. Uh, and just call me, text me at any time. I work pretty much 24 hours a day, so that's, that's not a problem. So here's the hood. Okay, I'll show you the hood. The hood looks like this. I already checked the truck, so I know there's no damage on the truck. But the only bad thing is here, it's just a piece of tape that was left from the deer whistle. Uh, on the other side of the hood, you can see the same. Uh, someone tried to remove it, but didn't do it correctly. Um, here's the grill. There's no damage on the bumper. The truck has the lane departure and the front collision sensor, as you see. Other side of the truck. I mean, on of the hood. Here's the side shot. And let's go to the body. So, on the top of the cab, as you see, there's no damage. A little little scratch here I'm not sure if it's scratch or something else and over here we got some scratches over here this these are scratch these are scratches this is the side fairing bottom fairing no damage and the rear fairing No damage either. Here's the wing. There's no wing damage. Usually, if they're damaged, they're cracked over here, but this one seems to be fine. And here's the back of the truck. The truck has Aspar unit, it doesn't have APU or Park Smart, it just has the Aspar unit and optimized idle for the AC and we'll go to the frame and tires shortly I'm going to show you the other side of the truck first so, here's the other side of the truck there's a very small scratch on this black piece and the top looks fine to me the rear uh, the, the right doors Looking good, no damages, no dents. And let's see the bottom fairings. See there's no scratches here on this side. Here's one little scratch. Other than that, it looks good. No damage, everything's attached. Here are the tanks. The tanks should be 125 each. And the frame. I don't see any rust. I think there's a little piece of rust, like a surface rust in the, in the back. Over here, 
that's kind of like a pain thrusting out. That's the only bad thing I see over here. Or no, it's a weld actually. It could be a weld. I'm not an expert, guys. Uh, and here are the tires. The tires are pretty good. My battery is dying, so I might have to cut this video at any time. But uh, I'm gonna render the video later. All right. I'm gonna start the engine and open the hood so you can listen to the engine. Uh, this beeping sound is the lane departure system. I'm just checking if it's working correctly. As you see, truck has 448,000 miles. We're gonna check the engine and the steering tires now. So the engine is 505 horsepower, but we ordered at 455. I'm gonna show you the interior of the truck. As you see, there's no check engine lights or anything like that. I'm gonna make a cut right now and I'll change my battery and I'll get back. Okay, so we are back. I changed the battery. So, see the mileage here and I'll show you the interior now. Um, let's go like this. So, this is the front seat. And the seat, the passenger seat is different. I mean, it's the original Freightliner seat, just different color. The, this is the original seat. This one was replaced because it wasn't looking good. So this one is fine. This is shade. I mean, you might see it's, it's from the sun. See, it's not dirt. So here's a truck. Here's the dashboard. Uh, you have the auto, automatic fifth wheel pin release uh, on this truck. Air gauges. Here's the dash. The truck is pretty clean. It's 
got the front curtains over here and the back curtains over here uh, also the truck comes with the power inverter I, uh, this one is 3000 uh, 3000 watt power inverter and the fridge and the fridge it seems like it's a new one and it's a double bunk here's the bottom bed windows uh, windows covers are here My camera is getting crazy right now. I have to find focus. I'm gonna try it here. All right. So here's the front headliner. So over here we got control for the Aspar unit and for Opti Idle. It's got a little light over here. It works. Here's the back part of the bed. Come on, I'm not sure why my camera is losing focus. Now we're good. And under the bed you have the the Aspar unit and some trunk space, fire extinguisher. We can do a little test drive video since I'm here. down because I forgot to uh, shut out, uh, close the hood. <laughs> I have to slow it down a little bit. We also have some Volvos for sale. If you guys are interested, I get some Volvos 760s with about the same mileage as this Cascadia. Between 440 and uh, 440 to 450,000 miles. I'm gonna lock the hood and drive it again. Also, I forgot to show you the, the ratio. The ratio is, the back ratio is 247. And as you see, the horsepower shows 455 over here.
hope you liked the video. Thank you very much.